to my camping conversion. Uh, I'm going to walk you through our camp. I decided to go with the Honda Odyssey because it's a very reliable car and it, I think more reliable than the American cars. Uh, Hondas make lots of engines and they also make really great minivans. Um, another major reason, come closer, I chose the Honda Odyssey is because it is got this awesome thing down there. The well? The well. It's got a great well and as you can see it gives you lots and lots of storage and which means that you can take heaps of stuff like your kitchen and your other things. Um, what I've done is built our bed base in the bottom of our um, Honda Odyssey and I built it mainly out of uh, 2x4 because it is strong and light and cheap. Uh, the entire build cost probably around about $120 and what I was keen to do was put a bit of storage in so we put this uh, levitating thing here um, with some hinges, just some regular door hinges on top and what we did was put all our stuff, all our clothes underneath there and um, we've also got our camping chairs still in there in this room bag and what I've done is, that, Rosie, if you come this way, I've bolted, you bolted the um, bed frame into where the chairs, the Honda Odyssey back bench ch chairs was, and um, that stops the bed frame from moving left or right when you go around corners or up and down. And I also you bolted it further down deeper in the. Um, to the front strut of the um, of the back seat and that makes it really safe um, that it's not going to go anywhere um, one of the great things of, about the Honda Odyssey that I didn't realise was that in the back um, that is four foot wide and um, a whole bunch of products come specifically in four feet uh, like this uh, I don't know what it is it's like MDF or something fiberboard is um, comes as four feet and so does this three inch camping mat which was it two inches I think it might be two inches um, <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, this is um, <laughs> This is the cheap one that we got from a foam mattress place, and it's okay. It's like pretty. It's pretty um, firm. But if I was to do it again, I would go the four-inch dense denser foam because um, this one got a bit sore after about three nights of sleeping in it. So um, you could do three nights in a row, and then you'd have you'd be sore. So I'd go deeper next time. Um, and come around this way, Rosie. Oh, nice. This is what the um, front of the bed looked like. And it was all, it's very solid, as you can see. Like, it's, it's no, oh, that lifts up. I didn't realize it lifts up like that. Uh, but it was pretty, like, when you What's the extra it, piece of wood at the head for? It's to stop the, um, the mattress from moving forward, because when it's got all your all your um, all the linen and stuff on it, the it's quite heavy and it can slide forward. Um, so that was good. And uh, that's about it, really. Why did you build it that height? Oh, that height was a good. That's a good point. That was Rosie's idea. That's why she brought it up. And it's because when you get chained, you can sit up in the car, and it's um, probably as high as we wanted it because. Um, when you're spending so much time, we spend a month in this baby, um, and when you're spending so much time in the car, you want to be able to uh, sit up at night and not be uncomfortable. And so we were really sure to only build it up about a foot, um, all up once you include the mattress, because um, that's about the size, height of a Honda Odyssey chair that we took out of this. Lie down in it. Alright. 
And we also put in curtains, but we've taken those out. And the curtains we strut, strung up from this extra belt that I'm not entirely sure what it did. And it went from these things that we've cable tied together, as you can see, to make sure they stayed in. And we cable tied basically um, a curtain rail along here to there. And then another one we cable tied from this um, solid point here again along these like these coat hangers which for some reason are in the back of the Honda Odyssey rather than the front so that's where you ho hang up your coat and so it went all the way through to the front and we cable tied them from this air vent as well which meant we couldn't use the back um, heating but that's not a problem because we could use the back us. heating we used the extra rear ones not the middle ones the what the rear ones not the middle ones to cable tie it cable tie the thing to heat oh that's right we used the back extra back ones to heat because we went in winter we went camping for a month in this in winter and it was pretty cold what I would do differently next time is I would put in a method of holding this up so that when you had to get your stuff out you didn't have to hold that up um, I'd also break down the foam mattress um, so that it was easier to hold up because this is just one big mattress which um, is hard to get what I did. Um, but also get a thicker foam mattress and I think the most important expense would be your mattress which would be I'd go the 4 inch or the 3 inch the really solid stuff which costs like 200 bucks but I would do it just because it would be more comfortable and I would also make sure that I had enough space at the front so that when you push this chair forward you could Get changed, but I didn't do that this time. I'll do that next time. And that is my Honda Odyssey. Thank you.